Hello and welcome. My name is Lottie. Please don't be shy. Come on in and just take a seat in front of me there. Make yourself nice and comfortable and just relax. I promise you're in good hands. Now I'm assuming you've come here today to have a little bit of an insight and a reading into your future, your fate, your destiny, something like that. Sure. Well, I'd be more than happy to help with that and I'll be able to reassure you that whatever worries you might have about your present life, that things will be looking positive for you from the moment you walked in here. I sensed a strong wave of positivity and happiness and success. So even before into my crystal ball here and read the lines from your palm and read your tarot cards. I can sense that in this life It's only a small bird. It's very powerful and shows a great deal of intuition, allowing me to see what your future might hold. And already I can see some reflections in there. Indicate a healthy and fruitful future for you. Now, my cards are going to allow us to view what that might mean more specifically, but before I do your tarot reading, I'd quite like to. Yeah, of course. Now, if you just like to pop your hand here, the right hand, if you may, and leave it face up for me. Now, the reason I ask for your right hand is because the right hand indicates any postnatal indications. So, what this means is that. Your right hand shows what your life is going to be like based on external factors and those around you. Things that happen to you after you're born and how that shapes your future. And that's why the right hand takes priority. Okay? So please do. Front of me. Thank you. The first line that I'd like to look at is your lifeline, which is this long curved line here, starting from the corner of your thumb down to your wrist. Yours, as you can see, is quite short and deep. The fact that it's short indicates to me that you are a very independent individual, and the depth of the line highlights that you are going to have a rich journey full of experience in life. So lots to look forward to. Moving on to your wisdom line. This 
is your wisdom line and as you can see it is wavy and deep the waviness of the line indicates that you are a progressive thinker and the depth shows that you are a complex individual with lots of different mental pursuits next we have the love line that runs just below your four fingers here now as your love line begins underneath your index finger this shows to me that you are going to be content with your relationships and that you are going to really prosper from your love and your romance in your life next we have your fate line which highlights your fortune and future career yours is very much vertical which is very very positive and suggests to me that you are going to end up being very successful but also happy with your career now tell me do you ever have itchy hands uh, you know sort of unexplainable itchy palms at all okay well if you ever feel a sudden itchiness on your palms this could suggest upcoming change with your fate so just be aware of that okay next we have your sun line which is this little one right here this highlights what your legacy fame and public image is going to look like now it appears to me that your sun line intersects with your fate line which highlights the fact that your legacy and perhaps your public image is going to be impacted by external factors things that you can't necessarily control so just be prepared for external factors perhaps implementing how others might see you you can take your hand back now so from that reading I would say it's very positive there are just a few things that you should be conscious of and um, aware of with your lifeline it's very short now please don't be frightened this does not mean it any way that you are going to live a short life it just means that you are quite an independent being and that you don't rely on others to get you where you want to be which of course is a wonderful trait to have I must warn you though that sometimes it is best to seek others help when you may need it and not to allow your independent mind um, prevent you from seeking help from others when you might need it okay and your wisdom line highlights to me that you are a very wise individual but you're an overthinker now again this is something that can take you very far in life you are curious intelligent you question aspects of life that not everyone would do but this can come with dangers overthinking can lead to self-doubt and great unhappiness so always try to use that strength of yours in ways that can take you forward um, overthinking can lead to self-destruction so just be aware of the rare power you have with your intelligence and use it wisely again your love line is looking very positive it has told me that you are going to be happy with your romantic relationships in life and what you desire you will get um, which is wonderful but try to use what I've told you about your wisdom line and your lifeline to 
to consider finding a partner who can understand those traits of yours um, or in fact has similar traits okay I can see with you that as you are quite a complex individual you're going to need someone romantically that is either understanding of that or is like-minded all right and again, your fate line in terms of your career and your fortune looking very good. But this is one that can intervene with your love line in the sense that focusing too much on your career and your fortune can damage your relationships in life. So don't let your success make you forget what's really important life and that's love and happiness okay and finally when it comes to your sun line I don't want you to be disheartened by the fact that this is mainly going to be shaped by external factors so your public image your legacy is going to be out of your control And for quite a lot of people this is daunting, but it's not. It just means that you have to be prepared for unexpected events to happen in your life that will have an impact on your legacy. And as it's out of your control, there's no point worrying about it. What you can do, however, is focus on what you can control which is your personality, your kindness, sharing your wisdom with others and although that's not going to influence your legacy as much as the external factors that's what you need to focus on okay now let's go ahead and do a tarot reading now Okay. This is going to give us a more specific and deeper understanding about your future. Now, the tarot set I'm going to be using is the original tarot set. This is the rider. And I like these the best because I think they can be interpreted in many different ways but give a very wide range of outcomes and I want you to be reassured that whatever the cards may say today you have the power to influence your own life and work hard on the present in order to make your future better so the cards might indicate something negative for your future that's not to say that it will certainly happen because you can influence your future beyond this time we've spent together, okay? So it's more an indication of um, what your life could be like if you're not to change your course of action, okay? It will indicate a lot about your character and what I like to do is first a set of three cards, so past, present and future, and this is going to indicate your life in the next five years, so um, it will just give you a general view of what's to come in the near future. And then we're going to do a second reading, which 
I'd like you to ask the cards a question so it could be um, what is my career going to look like or what is my future um, romance going to look like something that perhaps you are curious about concerned about you can ask the cards okay so like I said we're going to start off a general reading using the cards to indicate what your life is going to be like in the next five years or so so more of a general reading into how your life is going to pan out in the near future These have been pre-shuffled. I'm going to spread these out in front of you here. And I'd like you to pick three cards. Now you might want to pick at random. In fact, it won't be random because your brain will instinctively attract your mind to three certain cards without you knowing, or if you can feel a deep desire to pick certain cards, then you can choose specifically, but be rest assured that the three you choose were always meant to be the three you are going to choose, whether you realise it or not. Well done. Now let's see what the cards are going to show us. And each can be represented as I show you here. So this one is past, this one is present, and this one is future. Now I'm going to flip over the present first. And you have chosen the Hermit. As you can see, the Hermit stands alone on the top of a mountain. The snow-capped range symbolises his spiritual mastery, growth and accomplishment. He has chosen this path of self-discovery and, as a result, has reached a heightened state of awareness. The Hermit shows that you are taking a break from everyday life to draw your energy and attention inward and find the answers you seek deep within your soul. You realise that your most profound sense of truth and knowledge is within yourself and not in the distractions of the outside world. This indicates to me that at the moment you are really focusing from within. You are trying less to worry about what's going on around you and really listening to your heart, your intuition and perhaps compared to your past, that's not what you've always done. Um, but similar to your palm reading, which showed you are going to live quite independently without listening to others or being influenced from others. I think the hermit coincides really well with that. It shows that you are a deep thinker. It shows that you trust yourself. You have a really positive relationship with yourself and I think that is what you're doing at present. You are focusing on you, you're listening to yourself without worrying about those around you, which is wonderful. Now, I would be wary of this card ever so slightly. We'll see what your future has to say, but um, sometimes relying on yourself too much can become quite a heavy burden, okay? Try to reach out to your loved ones, someone you can trust in times of need, okay? Great. Now, let's move on. 
to your past. The past shows the Three of Swords, which, when upright, can indicate heartbreak, emotional pain, and sorrow. As you can see, there are three swords piercing the heart, indicating the pain that you have felt from within. The dark clouds in the background mirror this pain, but offer the hope that just as the storm clouds will disappear, so too will the pain and hurt that you are experiencing. This indicates to me that in the past your heart has been pierced by the sharp blades of others' hurtful words, actions, and intentions, which in turn has left you relying on yourself and not trusting others as well as you used to. Just like a sword to the heart, it is expected that you will be scarred. But like I said, the clouds show a sign of hope and growth from the pain you've experienced. So, the Three of Swords does show to me that in your past you've been hurt. Is that right? Now, that could explain why you've had the Hermit right now. It can explain that perhaps you trusted someone you loved, and unexpectedly they betrayed you with words, actions, whatever it was. The Three of Swords highlights intentional pain inflicted upon so that person is not one you can trust and it hurts but it's a card of hope that you can grow and flourish and move on from this and perhaps it's a good thing that you've relied more on yourself for happiness and inner peace instead of relying on others that maybe you can't trust so this shows that you are good at learning from your past and moving on, trusting yourself and sourcing happiness elsewhere, okay? It shows your strength, your perseverance, despite being hurt in the past. Now let's move on to have a look at your future. We have here the Nine of Pentacles which shows a beautiful woman standing in the garden surrounded by riches and beauty. You can see behind her there's lots of grapes, lots of fruit and her many coins. This indicates to me that you have a wealthy future. You're going to excel at your career and in the near future you're going to be able to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labour. You will work hard to achieve this and it's very very exciting to see that before long you'll be able to enjoy your success and this card's interesting because it's thanks to your independent efforts your self-confidence, your discipline, and that this is a well-deserved success. You have achieved this success and wealth with integrity and with hard work. It shows future financial independence and suggests that you should not be afraid to indulge and spoil yourself to reward yourself with the hard work and sacrifices you have made along the way. So that is a really, really positive card for the future. Like I said, it shows that you are going to achieve great things with your career, which accurately coincides with the vertical fate line on your palm, indicating fortune and success. That's what you're going to achieve and it will 
all be thanks to your self-discipline, hard work, integrity that is reflected by the Hermit card now, your independence. So almost be thankful for the pain caused, highlighted by the Three of Swords, because that pain made you more independent, perhaps more focused, more hardworking, which then leads to your very successful future. Okay, so keep working hard, keep trusting your instincts, and you will achieve a lot in this life. Okay. Now, I'd like you to ask the cards a question. You'd like to know about your future relationships. Okay. Again, I'd like you to pick three cards that you are naturally drawn to. And I'm going to read to you your past relationships, your current relationships, and the future where you can expect your relationships to go, things that you might need to be wary of. Okay, so please do go ahead and select three more cards. So, for your present, you have the High Priestess. Now, this is a very interesting card. The mysterious High Priestess is the symbol of intuition, the subconscious and spiritual enlightenment. She is a divine feminine ruler and is the gatekeeper between the physical and spiritual world. The High Priestess encourages us to look inward for answers and use intuition. Now, the High Priestess can represent strong suspicions. It may even be suspecting infidelity. Your intuition may be telling you that something in your love life is not quite right. Um, perhaps someone's keeping a secret from you or being dishonest. Now, a lot of people might panic when the High Priestess comes up in a romantic relationship tarot reading, um, especially in the present. It might make them think that their partner is being dishonest, or that potential suitors or romantic relationships around them are going to be dishonest. Although this card can purely mean that you need to rely on your intuition when it comes to a relationship, or it can represent that something is to soon be revealed. Now, again, this does show dishonesty, but it might not be a negative thing. Perhaps your partner is wanting to surprise you, or perhaps someone unexpected is going to enter your romantic life. So please don't be disheartened by that. It could mean a number of things. Um, we'll have a closer look at your past and then your future to determine how this might fit in, but I think its main message here is to trust your intuition and to um, expect that Something unexpected might happen, okay? Now, for your past, you have the inverted King of Cups. Um, quite often when a card is upside down, reversed, inverted, whatever you want to say, it will mean the opposite of what the upright version of that card would represent. So, typically the King of Cups is an indication of Emotional balance, control, compassion. Um, but as yours is inverted, it suggests that 
your past relationships have suffered due to um, a lack of compassion, moodiness, emotional manipulation, or perhaps emotional instability. Perhaps in the past you have felt a lack of certainty with your romantic relationships, um, a lot of doubt, and mixed feelings. It indicates trouble in a relationship, uh, suggesting that in the past your relationships um, have been powered by confusion, doubt, that every day has brought something different for you, so one day everything seems perfect and the next you feel like you're making a huge mistake. Now of course this represents your past relationships, but that's not to say that, you know, current relationships or future relationships can be the same, so this card really does suggest to me that you need to be careful if you fall into a relationship as I've just described, um, try and make some distance and try and establish an emotional equilibrium, okay? Try and focus on your intuition, as the high priestess would say, and perhaps end that relationship if you do feel emotionally unstable. So I think that's where this ties in. I think you've learnt from emotional instability, lack of compassion, and I think this shows that perhaps you're going to have a positive future outcome because um, as you've learnt from your instability, your lack of compassion, you can trust your intuition more and find a more appropriate now let's have a look at your future. You have here the Ace of Swords, which is fascinating, okay? The Ace of Swords is really a hot and cold card. Um, it suggests that your partner is going to be on and off with you, perhaps. Um, it predicts an extreme and excessive, intense relationship. Um, something that will come on quickly without you expecting it. So, obviously this can be a positive thing or a negative thing. It just depends on how much of your partner you can handle. Okay. Now, as you are quite a complex individual, I think this could be a really exciting thing. It could indicate a really exciting, passionate relationship in your future. But I do think you need to remember the High Priestess and listen to your intuition. Because if this is a negative relationship coming your way, you need to bear that in mind and listen to your heart and your gut feeling. This one's also interesting because it does suggest to me that an ex-lover might come running back to you. Um, so, maybe prepare for the unexpected with that one. Um, and again, trust your intuition. Don't be afraid by the uh, unpredictable nature of this card. Yes, it's unpredictable, but be reassured that you're Intuition indicated by the, the High Priestess means that you are going to have the ability to handle this future relationship effectively. Okay. Now, my darling, that is the end of your reading today. I can definitely sense that you are a very interesting individual and that you're going to have a highly successful life in many different aspects. Just remember to listen to the heart, trust your instincts, because the cards have shown that you are a very uh, powerful individual from inside. You have 
very strong instincts you should follow them okay don't be afraid to be independent when you need to be and trust me when I say that everything is going to be okay all right thank you so much for joining me this evening it's been lovely working with you and hopefully I can 